Good morning, y'all. Morning. How's it going? Good. Oh my god, the top made it. Bro, the outfit. Thank you so much. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I'm so glad. Are you wearing your stuff too right now? I am. I'm this is some stuff I'm whipping together. Oh so yeah. I'm wearing everything. <laughs> so what prompted you to uh like start your fashion line? I, I guess I started the brand because I didn't see any brands that were doing what I wanted fashion brands to be doing. People weren't casting trans people in shows unless they were doing it as like a gimmick. Or I, I didn't see many or any examples of of trans designers um, in general. So that was kind of important for me to kind of show that in a time where, I mean, this is only like six, seven years ago. I feel like I was educating journalists on how to speak to trans people because that was not something that people cared about before. I didn't have that many uh, materials because I didn't really have much of a of any financial backing. So, you know, I, it was all about making things from recycled stuff and discarded garments and kind of like um, deconstructing and repurposing things. So I'm curious what your creative process has looked like recently, but also just in general, do you have like consistent inspirations that are always there or um, do you try to focus on a new theme every uh, with every collection? Uh, how does that work for you? So my process is not always the same. The look of the collection is also kind of dictated by the materials that I'm able, able to get. Um, mm -hmm. So since I use only recycled materials, I have to go looking for it. I kind of like feel like a little bit of like a bird or something building like a little nest where I'm like taking scraps of stuff from everywhere and just like shoving it into this <laughs> object. <laughs> As far as the inspiration goes, um, I'm definitely always inspired by video games that I play, specifically like role-playing games, like fantasy role-playing games, um, like Final Fantasy, and I mean, that was a big one, Soul Calibur and Tekken, and it, all you have to do is look at like one scene from one of those games and there's plenty of inspiration. But yeah, aside from that, I. Uh, I draw a lot of inspiration from uh, my Japanese heritage. I'm half Japanese and half white. There's a lot of uh, inspiration from from just like my ancestry that I hope comes through in my work too. A big part of the process is being inspired by the people that I'm working with and casting to be in the show because um, the models are all different uh, shapes and sizes. What is your favorite part about playing uh, Jules in Euphoria? What do you hope that your role and character shows the viewers? She's been a vehicle for me to learn how to act through. One of the reasons I got cast uh, is because I had experiences parallel to Jules's. It was not in my plan at all. I was trying to be like you. I was just, I was trying to be a fashion designer. Um, that was like my plan when I moved to New York. It's not too late for you to also be a designer. <laughs> um, I just thought of something. So I wanted to ask you, why is it important for diverse individuals to be represented in um, fashion, art, media, etc.? Anyone who didn't grow up with like, you know, exposure to individuals who they resemble or who they hope to resemble someday can be pretty isolating and ugly feeling until you find your community and like work that actually speaks to you as a human. And then when you do find it, like how much bigger your world 
gets. I know like that's something I felt when I first saw your work is like I'd never seen a fashion line entirely modeled by trans people before. And I was like three years into my transition when I first saw your work. So it was, yeah, it was, it was like revelatory. It was magic. Mm -hmm. Really nice. To, to kind of go off of what you were saying um, about the isolation and feeling like you don't belong, I think that's a really powerful negative influence on anyone. It's a fucking crazy feeling. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, creativity is inherently linked to the trans experience? Yeah, for, for me, I would... I would say, I feel like you were kind of speaking on it before in, in the process of like, like building a character earlier on and as you're still figuring out who you are can feel um, like hard and isolating and really confusing. However, in retrospect, I'm really thankful for the opportunity to like assemble myself versus being handed something and and like inhabiting that for the rest of my life i think also especially as artists like your work is like a part of your being it's like it's like a way um it's a way i've learned to exist and like cope also like to a certain extent cisgender people have to do some uh kind of like world building and like self creation and stuff. But I think a huge difference is that there are very few templates and references for, for trans people. And so it's just like, gotta be creative. <laughs> yeah. What is some advice for young creatives who are struggling to f feel seen um, in their pursuit of their dreams? Just keep making shit relentlessly. Um, uh, of course, not for the sake of making shit, but for hopefully the sake of like catharsis and like uh, in in the kind of uh, magical feeling that making art brings that you can't find anywhere else. Yeah. What about you? I would say just to get the confidence to take that first step. It's always super difficult and it's always gonna be a vulnerable experience to be taking that first step and, you know, getting your work out there because it's something that's really personal creativity, but um, no one's gonna make you do it. And you need to be the person that decides that you're gonna put this thing out there that's probably not going to be, I mean, it's definitely not going to be perfect. You just have to take them and take the risk of, of doing it for yourself. Thank you so much for talking, Go Go. Yeah, thank I you. I admire you so much. And I'm so glad we could talk about our work and, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Likewise. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that we got a chance to talk about our work. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Yeah, it's really nice to see you too. <laughs>